um, I did a yeah, water sector analysis in my um, bachelor degree of Tajikistan. And yeah, while doing so, I found out that it was more about like the yeah, the overall relations in Central Asia and like the, the cooperation or yeah, not cooperation between the countries, um, which were the bigger problem rather than yeah, the problems that Central Asia itself had. Um, so I think, yeah, this was this was the beginning. I really like water. I, I like everything that is related to water. I like drinking water. I like watching movies about water. I like everything about water. That's why I think that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to really explore water more. And because I'm from Kazakhstan in Central Asia, we have transboundary water problems, very, very relevant, very topical. And we have a, another generation experts but unfortunately not that many younger generation experts. And I think there should be this generational um, transition of knowledge. And I thought that um, I would be very much helpful here. Uh, at, this, at the moment, I'm actually doing PhD. I'm PhD candidate at National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies. I'm researching transboundary water issues in Central Asia. I think I can raise awareness and top to bottom, bottom to I would say I have six words. I don't have one word. One word. <laughs> I'll try to put in one word. Can I put in six words? One word. in, <laughs> in one word, I would say impact. I would describe myself as an enabler, connector. In one word. Um, I would say adaptive. I'm going to answer this for both, uh, the third and fourth question. I believe that we need to enable spaces for young people who are researchers, entrepreneurs, scientists, social scientists, uh, artists, to really be able to transcend political barriers that prevent transboundary cooperation in order to share, innovate, collaborate together so that we can address these transboundary problems that are very complex. I think that they are the links between the government, the international organizations and the local communities to give us the role on the voice of the water and the environment. Me as a diplomatic person, mm, my role is to collaborate and to connect with other youth network and to promote activities set up by youth to general public uh, to inform general public and thought to reach a greater number of people and of course to promote the voice of the youth and the voiceless maybe. And my point of view as I am hydrologist, as I am climatologist, I think that firstly I must learn physical features and hydro regime and climate conditions and also additional I need to learn river settlements, pe people living here, water using and then I can find uh, solutions for this river basin. I think they play a very important role in mediating because a lot of times there's quite a disconnect between what the youth thinks and what the decision makers think. So maybe they can actually provide this platform for exchange, not just of knowledge, but also efforts and innovations and make it more joint. I think with all my knowledge, with my knowledge, uh, with the capacities, with the communities and with all the scientific bases.